everyone, in my first video about crystals, I showed you how to make crystals that look like this. And as cool as I think this is, because I made it, and as crazy as these angles are, this isn't exactly what I was expecting to make. But the only other thing I seemed to be able to make was little crystals that looked like this. Now, the thing is, I've learned things since my last YouTube video, and now I know how to make a crystal that looks like this. It's so much bigger, look at this. We got this little guy, and we got this huge guy. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to make crystals that look like this, and I'm also gonna see exactly how big I can make a crystal in the next week. Um, so I'm starting this video a week earlier, a week before I'm going to post it, and in the next week I'm going to do my best to make this crystal here as big as I can possibly make it. So we're warming up some water in the microwave again, per the usual, and we got our recycled material in here again, and what we're doing right now is we're going to make some seed crystals. And from there, we're going to make the bigger crystals that I was showing you. So as usual, my recycled material was not quite enough for what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to get some new material from my mason jar. For the seed crystals, we are just going to pour this solution in to this glass and we are going to let it sit and it is going to sit until there is a ton of stuff at the bottom and not very much liquid left and we're just gonna leave that be that should be enough so as you can see I've literally just made a puddle of blue liquid in this glass jar and honestly, I'm going to put a little more in there, just so that there's more solution. Um, oopsies, I'm making a mess again. And then this other solution is what I'm going to try to grow a bigger crystal in. I'm going to pour that into our little glass dish, this one right here. Oopsies, I made a big mess. And we're going to wait for this to cool down. Um, and we're going to clean up the mess while we wait. But I don't want to dissolve my already bigger crystal. I'm going to wait for that to cool down before I put my crystal in there. So I actually don't know if these seed crystals are large enough for me to start um, pulling them out. They should be about this size here of like this guy right here. So I don't know if these ones are big enough yet, but I'm really excited about doing this video for y'all. And I think I'm going to pull them out and see if I can use them. So here's my setup right now. I have the two bowls of crystals. I've got a paper towel for sorting. I've got this for the crystals that I'm going to reuse in a future solution, and this for the crystals I'm going to keep. So this is the crystal that I'm growing to see how large I can make it by Thursday. It is now Saturday, a little bit after noon. Let me grab a ruler real quickly and measure it. So along this diagonal, it is right now. I can't really see the drones on this. It is a little longer than three centimeters long and it is a little longer than two centimeters wide. I also have popped the crystal that I made for our first video in here to see what will happen. Um, so far it's just become kind of a little bigger, a little more coordinated, I would say. Now, what you're going to do from here is you're going to pull out a chunk of crystals. And 
Maybe you have to break it up a little bit first. But it's going to look something like this. And honestly, you're just going to squish it until it all comes apart into little individual crystals. And what we're doing is we're looking for bigger crystals for growing. And you're going to keep doing this until you find some crystals you like. The crystals you like, you're going to go put aside, and the rest of them you will use for recycling. Amazingly enough, I found zero. So, we're going to get another lump. It may be that I pulled these a little early. We're going to try this other jar, just in case. Not really any I like on that piece. a couple I like. Yeah, so it's going to take you more than just a few days. Um, I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but this one right here is one that I like and one that I'm going to keep. Let's see. I'm also going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one. So as you can see, we just pick out the crystals that we like, that we think we can make bigger and cooler, and we're just going to put them to the side. And we're going to take anything we don't like, and we're going to put it separately for reuse. So here are the crystals that I've come up with for my seed crystals. Um, there's not a ton of them, but I'd say there's probably about 20 to 30. And that's enough. Had I waited a few more days before pulling them out of my jars, I would have had much more that I wanted to use. As it was, I was impatient, I wanted to film this video, and I pulled them out early. So the next step is to put these seed crystals into a new solution. So we're going to make some new solution using some of our recycled materials. Alrighty, so now that the solution's cooled down, we're going to add the crystal I'm trying to grow to this dish and the crystal that I was my first crystal to this dish and we'll put in two or three more crystals in there and in this dish we'll do a couple more crystals one a dozen we're just gonna put them all in here and they should grow. So the solution I made that I put the seed crystals into apparently wasn't saturated enough. Um, and it actually ended up dissolving the seed crystals, trying to make itself more saturated. Now, the easy way to solve this problem is just wait a few days, and when you start to see stuff forming on the bottom of the glass, that's a good time to put in your seed crystals. Unfortunately, the crystal I was trying to grow as big as I could make it by the end of this video actually lost, I think, a quarter inch of its um, length. And I think it's gained back about a quarter inch, but it won't be as big as I had hoped. So here are my seed crystals inside the solution. You can see that some of them are bigger. I don't think these over here were actually seed crystals. I believe they just formed. And then over here we've got a really big crystal. So I'm going to take them out and show them to y'all. So this is what we've grown in two days. Um, all of these took only two days after I had the solution right. They're a fairly decent size. They're about the size of a finger. 
but if you want them to be bigger just leave them in for longer and then here's our big one over here we're gonna measure it the big crystal is an inch and a fourth long and three-fourths of an inch wide thank you for watching today's video I've got a couple pictures of the crystals that I've made scrolling through right now I upload videos every Thursday um, so check back on Thursdays or subscribe so that you don't have to check See you again next week.